and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you're new, hello or welcome. I'm Jack, but when I'm in drag, I go by Luna Rose, cause I'm the flower that blooms at night. And I thought it was very fitting for my first transformation of 2020 to be serving full on Phoenix Glamour. The end of 2019 for me really was not that great and I was in like a really down mood, but just like a Phoenix, we are gonna rise from those ashes of 2019 and 2020 has so many exciting opportunities and I have so many videos that I want to create this year. So um, I thought it was very fitting that I became a phoenix for my first official transformation. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below any other looks you want to see from me, and don't forget to subscribe to a bitch and hit that notification bell to tell you when I upload. There should be at least one new video every single week on a Monday at 10pm at Greenwich Mean Time, but like I said, make sure that bell's hit because there's going to be loads of bonus days. I really hope you guys enjoy this look and let's get into it, shall we? Thanks for watching. So I'm going to be starting off this Phoenix Glamour transformation with my base, my boobs and my brows already done. And then to start off the eye look, I started by going in with a matte white eyeshadow just under my brow bone just to help lift it and to kind of give me a colour to blend the eyeshadow into. From here, I just packed a lot of powder under my eyes just to catch any fallout since I basically just wanted to heavily blend a lot of like colourful pigments all over my eyes. So pretty much I went from yellow to peach to orange to red and all of the eyeshadows I used were from Sugar Pill. So I started by taking the matte yellow in my Sugar Pill Pro Palette and just buffed that all through the crease of my eye, bringing it quite high up on the inner like brow region. And then I went in with a peach and kind of defined the more shape that I wanted to go for. So I want this look to be very like draggy, very exaggerated, very like winged out and um extra AF for the new year. And then I blended those colours together with a bigger blending brush and then went in with the orange to define it further. And then finally with the red to kind of map out the most like intense kind of winged out bird-like phoenix kind of drag eye look. I basically just kept going back and forth with all four of those shades until I was happy with how everything was blended and looking. And then I carved out a very exaggerated drag cut crease just using a little bit of concealer just to make my eyes appear nice and large despite the amount of like makeup and lashes and everything else that's going to be going on. I set down this concealer using my MAC Vanilla Pigment which I absolutely love just to add like a touch of gold shimmer and sparkle and just finish the look off with a nice little bit of pizzazz. I then went in and defined kind of the cut crease area using a little bit of red and black eyeshadow and then I added some gold glitter to the like inner cut crease area. I then threw on some hefty winged liner off camera and then smoked out my lower lash line with the red and then the orange and then the peach and then the yellow in a very exaggerated way since I am living for like a full on smoky lower lash line area. I then went in with a white grease paint and highlighted my inner corners of my eyes as well as my waterline and then and heavily contoured and chiseled up my features and nose. I do go back later though and go over with like my nose with a little bit of foundation since Girl, it was a little intense and beak looking, not gonna lie. Once I was kind of happy with how my like face structure was looking, I then went in and um, very heavily applied a very intense blush to the backs of my cheeks, as well as slightly to my temples, the tip of my nose, and kind of my jaw area. I absolutely love blush, so um, I went heavy. For highlight, I went in with Flexitarian from Colourpop and really made my skin like glow and gleam. And then I went in with a Pink Heart from the Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit, and then a little bit of an orange highlight too, just so it kind of had the same like yellow, gold, orange and like red vibe to my highlight. For lips, I heavily overdrew them using a BH Cosmetics lip liner, filled them in with Honey Love from MAC and then it topped the center with a little bit of flesh pot and then it filled in my entire lips with the MAC Myth lip glass and then that is the finished transformation. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look and thank you so much for watching. 